<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this video is going to be about a TV show which is called Scrubs, and it was aired in 2001. And I'm going to review the first uh, episode of first season of this uh, TV show. It has gotten uh, 8.3 uh, IMDb rating, so it is very good in rating. Yeah, you may say that it is of that time of 2000s, so uh, the things might change now, but still it is a very good show. So just let's review it. Four years of med school and tons of unpaid loans have made me realize one thing. <laughs> good. Could you go drop an NG tube on the patient in 234 and call the attending if the lavage is positive? I don't know, Jack. So Look, I the NG tube is like nasogastric tube and it goes right from your nose to your uh, stomach and to the opening of the stomach below the esophageal splinter and uh, this NG tube uh, helps uh, like to feed the person who is very ill and who uh, just cannot take orally so he is nil per oral we say NPO so the, we cannot give food to the patient through mouth because of some problems like uh, the chances of aspiration which means that the food can go to his windpipe so we cannot give him food uh, he can choke and then he can uh, die also so we put the tube uh, through the nose and to the stomach. I will show one video uh, on my channel also. I will put a video on it. So, so that is NG tube. And we can help uh, use this tube to feed the person. And also uh, when uh, like some secretions are secreted in the stomach. So the fluid comes out of the tube also. So we can see what is happening inside the stomach. So it is a very important uh, Finally, thing doctors, we can do. Finally doctors, if there is a mistake don't admit it to the patient of course if the patient is deceased you and you're sure you can feel free to tell him or her anything <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this might sound a little bit evil uh, but like mistakes happen so uh, he's taking a funnier as to it uh, because like medical practices like uh, trial and error also so sometimes mistakes happen uh, but yeah, it is like against the ethics and he, uh, this show is like uh, funny as well as entertaining as well as informational. So all things are like uh, amalgamized in this show. So that's why he's like making funny comments also about this. That even uh, don't tell to the patient that you have done a mistake and if he is dead, then you can say it <laughs> because uh, you, you have already said it and he is dead. So nothing will happen. But uh, yeah, these are against the ethics. So a surgical interns are gonna go grab a beer. The medical interns are having a Pac-Man tournament. <laughs> Apparently we're all 12. I love Pac-Man. Uh, Me too, I love watching it, I, I love playing it, I, I, I love all of it. I'm Elliot. Elliot. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I'm JD, this is Turk. Elliot, you medical or surgical? Medical. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So every male in my family is a doctor. My dad, my granddad, my brother. I guess that's why dad gave me a guy's name, made me play sports date girls. I'm joking. I know. I would have laughed if you'd paused. Anyway, I know what you're thinking. Your butt looks like two Pringles hugging. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm probably Miss Hyper Competitive. I mean, it used to be a big problem for me. <laughs> used to. Yeah, it seems like our hero has a crush already. Hey! <laughs> Are we, like, racing? Yes. Please, I'm not that desperate. Come on, you've done this to cadavers before, so this guy's alive. Just poke it through his skin. Poke it through now. Time's up, Carla. Would you do it for him? Yeah, there's some people face hesitation on the first time they like picking the needle because, uh, like, everybody has the first time. So when you are picking the needle for the first time, you hesitate. You think that uh, a lot of bad things can happen. That's why he's having anxiety at that time. Please, I'm also going to need an ABG. Why are you telling her? Shut up and watch. Be nice to Bambi. Why is this Gomer got to try and die every day? Uh, now his uh, resident is saying that he also needs blood for ABG. ABG is, I have already made a video on this. Uh, it is arterial blood gas. And you can tell the amount of oxygen in the blood uh, by taking this uh, test. And also many other things like CO2 levels and uh, bicarbonate levels. You tell me what ailment most often I think I'm gonna love rounds. It's like being on a game show. What is uremia? That's my boy. Hey, no. Uremia is when uh, there's like um, urea, ure, uh, uric acid gets inside the blood supply. 
so uric means uric acid and emia means inside the blood in many conditions uh, like gout uh, i've already made a video on this you can check it out uh, uric acid gets inside the blood and then it's cause a lot of problem Nice, clean job on the Foley catheter. I had a nurse do it. Unfortunately, I'm still afraid to touch anybody. I've been thinking a lot about Elliot. A whole lot. Dr. Reed, you're late. I got puked on. You're off the hook if you can tell me what to look for in a uremic patient. Anyway, I'm going for it. Infection? Infection? That's my girl. Yeah, so look. Uh, in this part, he helped her, uh, maybe to get it, but uh, moving on. Uh, let's see I what happens. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I'm just frazzled. How could you not? You know what's oh, it. I know. Yeah. Good, but thanks. If there's anything I can ever do for you, just you could let me take you to dinner tomorrow night. Yeah. Round seven. <laughs> or eight. Hmm. I'm such a stud. Probably not. This morning. I had my hands inside of a guy's chest. <laughs> I couldn't even see them. So his friend is a surgical resident, and uh, that's why he's feeling very excited out uh, doing a surgery and like, putting his hand inside of somebody's chest. Do stuff like that. What's that? And you weren't scared. One way or another, everyone stops bleeding. It is so deep. No, it isn't. It's a little deep. Yeah, no. I mean, never got something <laughs> the apartment. I want to see No, they don't. Alright, all right. Alright, Todd, JD, JD, this is my man Todd. Let's go. <laughs> and like that, I was back in high school. You see, surgical interns, they're all slice them and dice them. They're the jocks. Medical interns, we're trained to think about yeah. the body. Diagnose, test. The medical interns, well. You gotta stay. <laughs> where the chest. Like surgical people are like uh have to cut the patient and doing operations, so they are like very uh slicing and dicing thing you know cutting people up but medical uh doctors have to like think about the processes going inside the body and then the diagnosis so the approach is very different in both cases so yeah surgical uh, people are like uh rowdy like dude and uh he's telling like that and uh, the medical ones are like a bit nerdy and uh, don't worry about the patient turk was already there learning by doing charge please <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it turns out the guy was just sleeping, attached to a faulty monitor. No, this doesn't ever happen. So, like, he's saying that uh, he was sleeping, but they were, like, doing defibrillation. And uh, the monitor was, uh, like, having a uh, technical problem. But uh, we make sure that the patient is, like, having no EFG chart. It's very clear on the monitor, and it is working so that we can do defibrillation at that time. So yeah, this was a review of my uh, video on scrubs and uh, it is a good uh, TV show. If you like uh, funny stuff uh, as well as informative and uh, entertainment, all three at the same time, because it is the only show uh, which has a comedy, uh, comedic edge to it and has sarcasm and everything and drama and suspense so that's why it is a very popular show it is a old school show uh, and uh, you may not like it because uh, now it is 2020 and it was launched in 2001 but yeah you will feel uh, very relatable if you are a medical uh, student or a doctor so yeah go and watch it